actually founded the club 10 years ago as therapy for a chronic depressive illness. Um, we set, started in the Prescott Leisure Centre uh, with a dozen members and it uh, transpired that um, we had within six months 300 members. Um, we've had a lot of difficulties moving from premises to premises. Two years ago uh, we were able to get this um, church hall which we've completely transformed. It was absolutely derelict. And the committee now feel that with all the time and energy I've put into it, that uh, it's justified calling it V's place. So you're famous at last? Uh, I'm famous, I don't want to be. It's not about that. You can't buy health and your money doesn't buy your place in here. It's for the less fortunate in society. Um, those disadvantaged by social and economic circumstances so that they too can enjoy a better quality of life. And what's on offer here if people come? We have a range of activities, um, social and leisure, uh, from bingo, indoor bowls, um, snooker pool, darts, card games, exercises. We have a well-being um, suite, an IT suite, therapy, relaxation, IT speaks for itself. And the PS de Resistance is our tea rooms and our hot tubs. Right. Tell me about the hot tubs. Oh, the hot tubs, it's um, a hydrotherapy spa. Uh, you can relax in it and it's, you can have a nice massage. And it benefits a lot of people that suffer from arthritis um, if they're in pain, the warm water and the massage, who could ask for anything more? Sounds good. Yes, yeah. it's very popular. Right. So the people that come, tell me a little bit about them. Um, recently we've taken on young people, so the age group now, rather than 50 plus, is 10. <laughs> to 110 I guess. Our eldest member was 102. A lady's maid at Knowsley Hall and 102nd birthday. We enjoyed a nice lunch there. And um, the, the rest of them, individuals, they, we don't label them uh, pensioners or what have you. Uh, they're all individuals when they come here, they're not just bums on seats. The wife used to call me, but she's uh, bad now, so right. I've got to get a bit of time to myself. Yeah. So I, I've just kept coming out, you right. know. So uh, that, that's why I'm coming, you know. So it's just a little bit of a break for yourself? Yeah, it is a break, every week. How long has this club been going? I, I said 2003 when we were down Cross Lane. Do you come every week to the club? I come every week. Right. How long? Eight years. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Seven or eight years. Yeah. Yeah. says ten, so. Oh, she's not been coming. Ah, right. I went to Wiston. Okay. I've only been in my flat about eight. Ah. Well, they come because they've a nice, relaxing afternoon at Bingo. You don't win the year. Last week I did. I won sixty pounds. You won sixty pounds. Right. On the jackpot and five pounds for the game. Right. So that was sixty-five pounds. I won. So you'd go home with a smile on your face last week. I went week. home with a smile on my face last week. All right. And as I say, I'm so thankful that I have been able to um, cope with everything that's turned up and it's probably helped me with the illness so much that I, I've learned things, you know, and learned more about myself. I wouldn't be doing these things without the illness and without having to cope with the illness. So I think there's a message for people there. You're not, you don't know what you're capable of until you push to the limit. Right. And I've been pushed to the limit. Well, on that note, thanks very much. Thank you.